Hello everyone and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're making yummy steak quesadillas. These are flavorful, cheesy, just lovely. But before we get started, I do want to invite you to subscribe, like this video, and click the notification bell. All right, let's get to it. Let's start by prepping two bell peppers and you can pick whichever color you like. I have a red one and an orange one. Remove the seeds, then dice them into bite-sized pieces. I feel it's better this way because that way you can arrange them easily inside the quesadilla. These look beautiful. Do the same thing with half of a medium white onion. Transfer the onions into a separate plate because these are not going to get cooked. Instead, we're going to mix them with chopped cilantro to create kind of like a taco vibe. It's going to be awesome. Half of a bunch will do. If you want to do more, you can. If you want to do less, you can do that too. Mix everything in. We're going to cover it with plastic wrap because I'm going to place it back in the fridge. That way it doesn't get all droopy. It's nice and fresh when we need it. To flavor the meat, we're going to create a beautiful mix. Add in one teaspoon of ancho chile powder, one teaspoon of paprika, all of it in there. <laughs> one teaspoon of garlic powder don't we all love garlic i do one teaspoon of ground onion yummy half a teaspoon of ground cumin one and a half teaspoons of kosher salt lastly do some black pepper to taste All right, mix to combine. Then bring out one and a half pounds of skirt steak and season it with the spices we just mixed. Be generous. You wanna do both sides. Pat it in, that way it sticks nicely. I'm using skirt steak because it soaks up the flavors nicely, but you can use the cut of your choice. Heat a couple of tablespoons of olive oil over medium to medium high heat to ensure a nice browning all around the meat. When the oil is nice and hot, add the meat. This splatter guard is gonna come in handy because it's gonna protect my stove from getting too dirty. I'm gonna leave you the link down in the description area in case you wanna take a look at it. Cook the steaks until both sides have browned and you reach the ideal internal temperature for your desired doneness. The steaks I'm using may vary a little bit in doneness due to some uneven areas but will still turn out juicy. Which takes me to the next step. When the meat is cooked, allow it to rest for about 10 minutes. This way, when you cut into it, it remains juicy. Let's place the pan back on medium heat and add the diced peppers. You wanna stir as needed. And I like to cook them just until they begin to soften because I don't like them cooked completely. But it is your option. You can do either or. These look perfect. They're ready. We're going to season it with half a teaspoon of kosher salt. And you can add as much as you like. Stir everything to combine and remove from the heat. When slicing skirt steak, you want to do it against the grain. I start by cutting the long piece of meat in half and then identify in which direction the grain is running and cut against it. 
In this case, I prefer to dice the meat, especially for quesadillas, since I can arrange it more comfortably in between the tortillas. Look at it, super juicy and tender. By the way, I chose to cook it to a medium doneness. Cover it with aluminum foil to keep it from drying out. We are ready to assemble these quesadillas. I have a comal heating over medium heat and spray it with cooking spray. <laughs> what I'm doing now is placing a little bit of mozzarella cheese at the bottom of the comal. Then I'm gonna take a tortilla, place it right over it. This part is so cool, just follow me. I'll explain it as I go. What's gonna happen here is the bottom layer of cheese is gonna get nice and crispy golden brown, adding another layer of texture and flavor. Beautiful. Okay, now let's add more cheese, as much as you like. The bell peppers. And see how easy it is to spread them? That's why I like to dice them. Add the meat. The onion and cilantro. A little bit more cheese, just so the top tortilla can stick to it. Do another tortilla. Ooh, this looks awesome. The bottom is nice and golden brown. It is time for us to flip it. Let's see if we can do this. I'm gonna get out my ninja powers. One, two, three. Haya! <laughs> and just let the cheese melt. Both sides are golden brown, crispy, and the cheese has fully melted. It's ready. I hope you're ready. We're cutting into this quesadilla. It looks so good, nice and crispy. I'm gonna cut it in four. That crunch, I'm loving it. Actually, I'll leave it in two. Check this out. Beautiful. By the way, you can also make them with corn tortillas. It's such a great way to make them and so delicious. I ended up cutting them in four for plating purposes. Now we're gonna dress them up. And I'm adding a little bit of shredded lettuce. This is actually romaine lettuce. We're gonna do a couple of tomatoes. And this is perfect because we're gonna do a nice salad with all of the toppings on the side. That way you can mix as you eat. Now do some dollops, or you can drizzle Mexican style cream. Crumble some queso fresco. Do Mexican salsa. Now some creamy avocado. This looks amazing. So delicious. Finally, some pickled onions. I'm so excited to taste, thrilled, but don't think I'm gonna have this by myself because we got company. Come on, Nelson. All right. Are you excited? Hi, everyone. Huh. This is the best time of the day. <laughs> All right. I agree. All right, so I'm gonna have the corn tortilla quesadilla. And I'm gonna have the flour one. Yes, so we're gonna dunk it and all of the ingredients on the side, get as much as we can. For all of you that call me lucky, I am. There you go. We got it. Ready? Go. Go. Mm. 
Wow. Mm. This is incredible. So good. Oh, yeah, yeah. We are lucky. <laughs> I want some of that avocado. I love avocados. That meat, so good, the cheese. Everything. Quesadillas are just awesome. They're so good, delicious, easy to make. It's a win-win situation. Mm -hmm. I'm loving this, loving it. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you all. What a treat. Mm. All right, we reached the end. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. You make it at home, come back and let me know how it went down in the comments area. Also remember that you can follow me on all of my social media platforms right here. All right, until the next one.